Welcome to Douglas County News Exchange. I'm your host, Lena Hardy. October was a busy month for Douglas County. Let's recap. The fourth annual Link Fest took place on October 9th at Deer Lick Park. This event was an opportunity for local providers in the community to network and learn about the resources available in our county. We briefly spoke with the event organizer, Jill Hobson, who started this event from just an idea. Uh, Link Fest restarted four years ago. Uh, it evolved from a, a group of us that work uh, in an interagency collaboration to help kids with behavioral issues. Uh, we sit in a room, we talk about what services are available, what we can never keep up with who's doing what. So we started this as a way for us to network and also let the community know what's available to them. There are so many organizations and companies here in this community that help kids, and I don't think the community knows they're here. There's nonprofits, uh, mental health agencies, wraparound providers, um, any child and family serving organization. Yeah, it'll be the second Tuesday of every October um, from 10 to 2. So we want to work with uh, these agencies, let the community know, get them involved before kids enter the juvenile court system. A man once said, cars are the sculptures of our everyday lives. Well, our everyday lives on four wheels are on display at the Douglas County Museum of History and Art. The new exhibit, The Art of Cars, is a showcase of art, photography, antiques the entire family can enjoy. Here's Suzanne Hudson to explain more. The museum is real excited to bring this new exhibit about cars. A lot of people that haven't visited our museum are interested in cars, so we hope they'll be and come in and visit. On top of things from the cars, we have the photography groups. We are a camera club that's participated with wonderful photographs. Artists, antique dealers, because one of the hottest collectibles right now is gas and oil. So we have signs, gas pumps for everybody to see to know what the hottest collectibles are. We also are featuring one of our uh, businesses that started in Douglas County and is still a big business in Douglas County, Thornton Chevrolet, and they've become our sponsor of this exhibit. So we have a little area of their history and how they started in the 50s and are still here. Um, please come and see some of our signage, some of our antique uh, car parts, also, we have a small exhibit on Hot Wheels, so your kids will be interested too. You can visit our exhibit when the museum is open. Of course, the museum is free admission. We'd love a donation, but it is free admission. Uh, our hours are Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 3. So you've got plenty of time to come visit Art of Cars. Life is your journey. Let the truth guide you was the slogan on the t-shirts of 500 hand-selected middle and high school students as they were welcomed by volunteers at the 18th Annual Power and Truth Conference. The event took place at the First Baptist Church on October 16th. The welcome speech was done by school superintendent Trent North, and the keynote speaker was 2017 Douglas County Schools Teacher of the Year, Mr. Casey Bethel. We had a conversation with Nicole Turner to learn more about the importance of this annual event and how it benefits the students of Douglas County. So Power and Truth is a youth development conference that we host every year. This year is the 18th annual Power and Truth Conference. So the whole gist of this conference, it originally started as an alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs education program. And as it's progressed and gained notoriety, it's developed into more of what is plugging our teens national trends, what's, what teens want to know about, what they have questions about. So it's expanded to more than just substance abuse, it covers all kinds of social aspects as well. We have texting and driving that impacts teens, we have what's coming after high school, so many teens don't know what to plan for next. So we have really made this an all-encompassing youth development conference so these kids can really prepare for what's coming in the future. We have been finding that this has been going on for 18 years, and though a lot of our school system people know what's going on, a lot of the community doesn't know what's going on. Sometimes parents have questions about what their kids are doing for this 
program. So what we want to do this year is we want to make Power and Truth as big to the schools, just as big in the community. So our big push this year is pit expansion. Um, additionally to that, a lot of what we want to do is take the education that these kids are learning at this conference and share it with the schools. So it's great that we can impact the 500 kids that are here, but then what happens when the kids go back to school? So we want to get these educational messages to the other kids at school. So we're doing some youth development activities as well. And our keynote speaker, actually Casey Bethel, is going to be helping us with those activities in the school system. We partner with the Douglas County School System, and um, particularly Mr. Sean Roach. He is someone who helps us coordinate with the schools, so they have what we call school advisors. So in the past, we've had people who are on staff at the schools who have been involved with the conference, and they will hand select students based on if they're leadership, skills, um, students who are looking for uh, any opportunities to gain more experience, or kids who maybe just need the information about this conference, and they'll pick those group of kids and bring them to the conference. So they're hand selected to be here. There is no cost. It is absolutely free. Um, the school system, like I said, is a great partner. They will transport the kids in. It really is a true day. They'll bus the kids to and from. They have Chick-fil-A for lunch, which is a big selling point, and they, they have a great keynote speaker every year, and then really great educational classes that truly can benefit these kids. So some of the breakout sessions, like I said, are some of the key substances that we talked about, which is the foundation for the conference. So there's an alcohol, marijuana, prescription drugs, heroin, and meth. So those trending um, drug topics. As well, we have some social topics. So we have a big texting and driving class because that new law just passed in July. So we want our kids to know about what's going on with that and how bad distracted driving can really be and how it really is impactful to not text and drive. As well, we have a human trafficking section. We have uh, social media and you. We have cyberbullying. Um, we have uh, e-cigarettes, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, healthy relationships and self-esteem. Uh, one big thing is cultural diversity and acceptance. And as well, like I said, just knowing what comes next. That's a big class this year is next steps. So planning what is gonna come after high school. Do I go to college? Do I enter the workforce? How do I decide what the best choice for me this year is? That's a big one that's new this year. We love our volunteers and we are always recruiting volunteers. Like this is a huge conference, so the more the merrier when it comes to this, to this event. So you're welcome to sign up. We do um, promotion through the newspaper sometimes. We do uh, online uh, promotion as well for volunteers, internal staff. We talk, you know, friends of friends of friends kind a networking thing. So like I said, volunteers are needed and if you have any questions about that you can always contact Cobb and Douglas Public Health and ask for the Adolescent Health and Youth Development Department and we can uh, connect you for next year's volunteerment as well. And like I said, sponsors are a big thing too. This is a 100% sponsored event. All of the community members in Douglas County, a lot of organizations in Douglas County, uh, the Georgia Department of Public Health, they all contribute to making this conference possible. And as well as community members who give time from their day, our facilitators donate their time as professionals to come here and educate these students. So like I said, it really is a group effort and that's what makes it so great. Speaking of the students of Douglas County, joining me in the studio is the Communications Director for the Douglas County School System, Portia Lake, with an education update. Career-minded Douglas County 8th and 9th graders are getting a jump start on career planning by attending the In-Demand Career Expo, the Douglas County Chamber of Commerce, along with the Douglas Economic Development Authority hosted the Career Expo October 25th and the 26th for students to learn about the growing cross-section of high-demand jobs available after graduation. This one-of-a-kind career fair has been connecting students with employers as well as career opportunities that are available for students in the future. Employees as well as sponsors from Greystone Power, Ray Lynn, Coal Hill Architecture, Douglasville Police, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, and West Georgia Technical College as well as Georgia Highlands College and the Douglas County CVB, the Fame Internet Marketing Services, as well as many others, all wowed students through the use of presentations about those high demand opportunities that will be available for them throughout the state. During their time at each booth, students were able to ask the company representatives more relevant questions about the salaries as well as educational requirements for each field. Now, the In Demand Career Expo will continue February the 1st, 2019 for ninth graders in their spring semester freshman seminar class. More than 60 gravity-powered cars zoomed through the streets of downtown Douglasville this fall for the Google Gravity Games competition. The Georgia Gravity Games is a gravity-only car race competition sponsored by Google, Georgia Tech, and the city of Douglasville. 
The event, open to students and adults, encouraged students to build gravity-powered soapbox derby-style cars using science skills. Sponsors created this event to show the next generation of scientists and innovators that science can be fun. The Engineering Challenge shows students how to use these concepts learned inside the classroom and apply them in a fun, competitive setting. So what better way to get young people excited about science and technology and engineering and math than by racing through the streets of Douglasville's downtown area. 20 cars from Douglas County Elementary schools, 10 from middle schools, and five, five of the elementary schools and the high school level all participated in the Advanced Engineering Challenge. More than a thousand friends and supporters all lined the race course and they cheered the gravity cars on to the finish line. Event sponsors declared this year's event a tremendous success, calling this year's Gravity Games the largest in the event's five-year history. Break the silence was the call to citizens at the rally for Douglas County Behavioral Health Month. Several of our political leaders spoke at the 11th and final event for the month, which was dedicated to mental health, behavioral health, and substance abuse. It's another month, so sit back and enjoy another song from Linwood Howard performing at the Woody Fight Senior Center. <laughs> That's our show for this month. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of our programming on DCTV 23. You can find us on Comcast Channel 23, AT&T U-verse Channel 99, and online at DCTV23.com. We end our show with the monthly birthday celebration for seniors at the Woody Fight Senior Center. See you next time. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And happy, morning. happy, happy, happy birthday to everybody. Sound like the drug commander, don't I? <laughs> okay, we're gonna be coming around. Uh, everybody here at Woody Fight wishes you a most happy and blessed birthday. And we're happy today to have the chairperson, Ramona Jackson Jones with us. And she has a few words for you. Good morning, November babies. Good morning. Wow, we can do a little better than that. Good morning, November babies. Good morning. That's what I like because guess what? You all are blessed because you have Thanksgiving amongst your dates in uh, this, this month. So thank you on behalf of the Board of Commissioners. We would like to wish you the happiest birthday and wish you a great success and hope you have a great, great time today at this birthday party because it's meant for you. And if you need anything from the Board of Commissioners, please don't hesitate to call us. Happy birthday again. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.
right, here we go. And see, we've got, we have some guests here, and then we have the birthday babies. So I will be coming around. All right, and your name and where you were born. Bonnie Millines, and I was born in Pickens County. Pickens County, okay. Jasper, North Georgia. North Georgia, all right. You know, we a lot of times we have an international flavor here, so let's see if we do it this month or not. So. Happy birthday. Hi, and I'm Ruby Thank Riley, you. and um, I'm from Paris, Texas. Oh, Texas. Yeah, I, I used to think it was Paris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paris, Texas. Texas, yes. That's Happy a good birthday. Place to be. Thank you. All right. Wanda Spires from Waycross, Georgia. All right, down in South. <clears throat> Mary Smith. I was born in. Oh, wait a minute. This is Mary Sunshine Smith, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we had, I don't know how many Mary Smiths in our membership yeah. thing, so we had to designate for each one. This is Mary Sunshine Smith, okay? <laughs> I was born in Knoxville, Tennessee, and um, I will be uh, 75 on the 18th. Fantastic. Happy birthday. 75. 75. That's a beautiful Okay, age. and who do we have here? My name is Arthur Harrington. I was born in Buffalo, New York, uh, November the 21st, 1934. And how old are you? I'm 83. 83. All right. Happy Very birthday. Good. Happy birthday. Very good. All right, this is one of my loyal members right here. So she loves to come and exercise. Oh, wow. My name is Andrew Armstrong. I'm from Manhattan, New York, and I was born in, on November 8, 1952. Okay, in Manhattan? Yes. Okay. Happy so you birthday. were Yankee. But she's, a, she's turned Southerner now, so we're okay. <laughs> and I'm going to be 66. All 66. right. Okay. Good number. All right. Hi, Sarah Jones. Uh, my birthday's November 30th, and I was born in 1947, and I'll be 71 years young, November oh. 30th, in um, Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. Okay. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. My dad um, grew up Ann in Hansen, born in Chicago Heights, Illinois, and I'll be 69 this month. All, All right. right. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. You look amazing. Y'all look okay. great. Beautiful. I'm Doris Jones. I was born in uh, Grady Hospital in Atlanta, and my birthday is November 26, 1940. Very good. A Grady baby. How a about Grady that? baby. We yes. always have at least one Grady baby. Here. Yes. <laughs> and McDaniel, and uh, I was born in Atlanta, and I will have a birthday the 18th of November, and I'll be 89. All right. Happy All birthday. Right. Put it there. Okay. Um, my name's Charles Lanzarone. I was born in Poughkeepsie, New York. Okay. You gonna tell me your age? I'll be 71 on the 19th. 71. All right. Happy okay. birthday. All right. Good morning. My name is Burl Hansen, and I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. Finally, finally. And I've been in this country for over 50 years. Oh, oh fantastic. Wow. And my birthday is November 20, 1942. And I'm 76, going on 77. We all are. right, all okay. right. Happy Very birthday. Wow. My name is Gilberto Rivera. I was born in Puerto Rico uh, uh, in 1936. I'm 82 years old. Very good. I will be. You will be. <laughs> in, 82. Very uh, good. So at least we have two internationals. Right. Yeah, well, I'm with him. I just right. want to say he was born. The, the 18th of November, that's the same day Mickey Mouse was born. Oh, oh all right. right. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ken Gillespie. I was, I was born in New York. Oh, New York. Born in New York. How old are you? 72. 72. And tell these folks here what you come and do out here in the garden. I play bagpipes. He does. Oh. oh I hope to be playing them in the parade on the 11th. For the Veterans Day Parade. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very good, very good. Ken came to me one day and he said, I'm trying to learn how to play the bagpipes, 
my wife is driving me out of the house. I'm driving her insane. Would you mind if I came and played out in the garden? We love it when he comes. We get so many compliments when we come because you can actually hear it in here. So he's doing a fantastic job. All right. Well, thank you. We look forward to you in the Veterans Day Parade. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Bob Farley, born in Denver, Colorado, in the year 1924. Wow. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. Wow. How about that? He's one of our artists here. He, came, he comes at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week, right and paints up here, so we'll be glad that you're here. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay. My name is Ann Hahn. I was born in Worcester, Massachusetts in 1950, so I'll be 68 this year. All right. All right. Massachusetts. Happy we get most birthday. of our states done here. Right. The name is Mabel Jackson. I was born in Watley, Alabama, and my birthday is November 5th. 1943. I'll be 75 in a few days. Well, All right. Happy birthday. All right. Very Same good. Day as my brother, <laughs> November 5th. Hey. My name is Claudette Chair. I born in Argentina. In where? Argentina. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. And my uh, my uh, the year of I born 1948 and I 69. All right, very All good. Right. Very Happy good. birthday. Thank Argentina. You. I'm June Pansner. I was born in Anderson, South Carolina. Oh, yes, we finally got <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> I'm a guest. South Carolina girl. Okay, I came as her guest. Okay. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Okay. I'm John Rice, mm -hmm. and I was born November 8, 1943, in Vanceburg. Kentucky, and I'll uh, see. And I'll be uh, 75 on my birthday. Oh, Are you right. sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Rice. Happy birthday. Okay. Very good. <laughs> I will try to get over, but it's some yeah, obstacle course. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marilee Kelly. I was, Let's say that again. I'm Marilee <laughs> Kelly. I was born in Dubuque, Iowa. Moved to Douglasville in 1970. <laughs> I was born in 48, so I'll be 70 at the end of this month. Happy All right. birthday. She's Thank also you. one of our volunteers here and does a fantastic job. And who is this? Paul True. Where were you born? <laughs> Polk County, Benton, Tennessee. All right. And how old are you? I will be 79 the 21st of this month. All right. All right. Happy and birthday. Also, I would like to add that... Uh, when you know of anyone here in Douglas County reaches 100 years of age, mm -hmm. yes. through the Douglas County Genealogical Society, I will fix them and uh, print a certificate and present to them, have a picture put in the Douglas Sentinel okay. for reaching 100 years of age, the Centurion right. Club certificate. All right, everybody All right. hear that? So anybody you know that reaches 100, let me know, let me know and I will let yeah. Paul know. All right, right Paul. Okay. Right. Paul? Thank you. Charlene Shanks. I was born in Highland Park, Michigan. And what else do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday, honey? Oh, November the 19th. <laughs> what year are you not going to tell me? I'm not going to tell you. All right. Oh, that's fine. Right. 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 You, do, you don't have to. <laughs> but I will say that when I went over to the courthouse to vote early, I went to the front of the line. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. My name is Joyce True. I was born in Savannah, Georgia, November 6, 1943, and I'll be 75 Tuesday Election Day. Okay. All right. All Happy right. birthday. All right. There we go. Now, did I, I miss? I get a good birthday. <laughs> you will. Happy birthday. Did I miss anyone? Okay. Well, my name is Margaret Greer, and I am a Grady baby. Uh, <laughs> Grady, Grady baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> so this is home in Georgia. It's home in Atlanta, Georgia. And I've been up here about seven years or so. <laughs> and it is a blessing. I've learned how to have fun. <laughs> 
Oh. All right. That's what we want. Stay home. <laughs> That's right. No, you don't need to stay home. Yeah, you, you need, need to, to have be some a fun. Fight. Okay. We got some Happy folks birthday. over here. Just one. Your birthday. Oh. There's my lady I love over this. there. <laughs> my name is Deetra Terrell. What we need to know. My, I was born in uh, Michigan. Okay. I have been here. Uh, since 72 is when I moved to Georgia. We've been Douglasville for three years. I am 71 years old, and I, this this place here has been a real blessing. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. We appreciate it. That, that's what we meant to do. <laughs> so, And this lady over here, it's not her birthday. It is my mother. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 92, and December the second, I'll be 93. Okay, oh, so you wow. get to come next time, next month. Okay? <laughs> All right, so we have another birthday party. They are Nora. part of our Bible study group here on Friday, so we're very, very glad that they're here. All right. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Time to sing, folks. You ready? Get all tuned up. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. 